Welcome back to my channel. In the next two minutes, I'll show you how you can add this effect to your designs. So I will be using the previous tutorial I made on this channel. If you don't have this file, you can follow along with any other file you have. If you're interested in content like this, kindly hit the subscribe button. To get started, I'm going to add a rectangle here. So this rectangle, you can make it as maybe twice the size of this original item. So now after adding the rectangle, I'm going to press I and then change the color to this. Then press letter O on your keyboard to add an ellipse. So here I'll be making my ellipse this size here. So you can center this to this rectangle by selecting the two items together and then we use the direction here to center it. So while selecting the two item, click on the drop down here. Now you're going to subtract selection. So it means this is transparent. When I drag it in here, you see it's transparent. So I'm going to bring that out. So the next thing you're going to do is add an effect to this. When you add an effect, click on the drop down here and select the layer blur. Now select the settings here and change it to 100. You can add more than 100. Now close this, drag this and drop it inside the frame here. Once you do that, you can now see the subtract here. So right click here and then frame selection. Once you do the frame selection, we can center this on our screen here. After centering this, click on the prototype here. Now on the scroll in here, click down and then use the both direction. After that, we can now select our MacBook Air, go to prototype settings and click on show settings. Make sure you are having the MacBook Air here then click on the play sign. So once this open, you can just click and then drag. Then you can just have this effect on your design. You can also play around with this. You can come back in here and then double click to select the frame. Open the subtract and then select the ellipse. If this is too small, you can increase it. If it is too big, you can always reduce it. If I increase this and I go back in here, you see, it's now showing more spacing than it was. If you like tutorials like this and you want to show your support for this channel, please kindly hit the thumbs up button. Coming up next will be this tutorial. So kindly hit the subscribe button so you get notified when I release this video.